What's up guys, it's the Bazinga Movie Reviewer again, and today I'm back with my good friend, The Sweet Man, to do another movie review. Today's movie, we're reviewing the Australian film that just came out called Drift, about surfing. And since The Sweet Man's favorite thing to do is go surfing and go on the beach, I thought he'd be a good person to review this movie. So here he is on his review with the movie Drift, starring Sam Worthington, who you might know from the Avatar movie. But this film is from Australia. Anyways, here's the Sweet Man's review of the movie. Okay, so I like Drift not just because of the uh, how it has to do with the ocean and surfing and all that, but Drift definitely has a um, sense of hot life to it, because even though it's back, it was made back, supposed to be uh, back in the 70s, I like how it has to do with, like, you know, how... Fa like money and all that, like, you know, dealing with life, dealing with drama, dealing with, just dealing to make a living. So, and spoiler, spoiler alert, um, sorry to give it away if you have not seen the film, uh, the brothers eventually open up a store to help uh, with money to afford all these surfboards and go surfing, and eventually they have to, uh, um, eventually they have to go into surf competitions because they need help with money. So the movie isn't just about surfing and the ocean and all that. It's actually, uh, I think it beats uh, Soul Surfer and Chasing Mavericks and all that because it definitely has more of a unique twist to it. Um, it definitely has some drama aspects. Like, I'm sorry, another spoiler alert is uh, when one of their friends, who's a big uh, junkie, uh, uses their company to transfer drugs and then he can't pay the guy back so he dies eventually but it, it overall is a good um film if you like surfing or the ocean well i like it that's one of the reasons so i definitely would recommend seeing it um i liked it you know and even if you're not a fan of surfing and all that it definitely has some elements of drama to it like how people are trying to make a living and all that so yeah i overall i loved it so thank you for that review and also, did you mention that it's based on a true story? I forgot that. But now you guys know it's based on a true story, and like he said, it takes place in the 70s. And pretty soon it'll find its way to America since it has a well-known actor in it. So, were there any like scary elements in it when they were surfing that made you like be like, hey, they might crash in the waves? Well, for me, being how I'm trying to become a better surfer, I worry about that. But, you know, it's one of those things where if you love surfing or anything you love to do, you gotta take the chances. You can't be afraid of that or else you'll never get out there, so. And since it was about surfing and, like, surfer dudes and stuff, were there any elements of comedy in it, even though it's more a drama movie? Oh, definitely. There's definitely a lot of uh, com uh, comedic uh, moments. moments in it, yeah. That's good. And since this movie is rated R, you would recommend it for, like, teens and adults or just adults? Pro I would recommend it for teens and adults. I think it was just for, like, a few bad words that made it yeah. rated R. And also, out of a scale, one being the worst and five being the best, what, rev what grade would you give this movie? A four. A four out of five? Mm -hmm. That means it's a really good movie. I must check it out myself. Oh wait, I watched it with you. <laughs> and like you said, do you think the movie will teach anyone, will make anyone fall in love with wanting to surf? Um, it might, because even if you don't have an interest in surfing, you just love the water, maybe it'll give you a chance uh, to like, or it might spark uh, you wanting to do surfing or any type of water sport, so it might, you know? And the last question is, did you think the acting was good? Yes, I thought the acting was really good. All right, thank you. And like and like you said, you gave it four out of five stars. Mm -hmm. That's a good review. So if you guys get a chance and you come across this movie, make sure you check it out so you could tell us what you think. Because this man over here gives it two thumbs up. And I give it two thumbs up. Even though I'm not a big ocean lover like he is, I do love the ocean but not as much as he does. I still thoroughly enjoyed the movie and thought it had great acting and all that, and I recommend it to anybody who wants to see a well-acted film and like movies based on true stories because surfing is a big thing in our culture today. So thank you for checking out our review. Peace. Say goodbye to the people, sweet man.
Thank you.